All right, welcome to Saturday Night Football here at the UFL. We've got the Huskies against the Warriors. I am Death Sheep Foragers, and I am commentating here with our good friend Blackheart Taurus. And a uh, big shout out to uh, to our man, our guy, the one thing that's keeping us here live and all is Dex. He's streaming for us. Thank you so much, Dex. So, Blackheart, what are you thinking about this Warriors Huskies matchup? Well, Huskies, you know, they're definitely a good team. They're definitely somebody to watch out for. Could be called a sleeper. You know, you never know what they're going to do. But I'm thinking the Warriors because they've definitely shown a lot of improvement. They've been a lot of offseason pickups, which definitely made that team stronger. So they're definitely looking like they can be a contender this season. I'm looking, I'm looking for the Warriors to take this one. Well, I won't deny that uh, from everything I've seen from the Warriors towards the end of the last season and into mm -hmm. uh, into this uh, preseason, the Warriors are looking like a team that won't, that are are hungry to send a message that they're ready to compete at the highest level. So um, I'm with you. I, I think the Warriors have uh, have a lot to show, and I think the Huskies are going to have to prove that they're ready to compete in this league. And uh, and the moment's going to come uh, in just a few minutes. To see if the uh, Warriors are gonna gonna make their mm -hmm. statement, or if the Huskies are gonna show that they've got the chops to compete. I, I think they do have the chops, but they need to, you know, stuff needs to tighten up. Maybe they need to gel a little bit more. Because one thing I've noticed with with any team, if your offensive line is not gelled, working as one complete unit, it's you know, the quarterback's not going to be able to do anything, and you're not going to be able to get any running plays. You're not, the quarterback's not going to be able to pass the ball because it's hard to pass the ball when you're lying down on the turf. So if they're if everything, they're lying, yep, you're absolutely right. Everything, everything hinges on your O line. I don't think that, that uh, right. people understand in a lot of ways that uh, you know when you're looking for MVPs and you're looking for uh, for Pro Bowl contenders, um, start with that O line because everything starts with that O line. You can't block, you can't defenders out of your quarterback's face, out of your running back's face, you end up moving backwards. You move backwards, that ain't going to do you no good. And of course, you have to have good blocking downfield. Like if you complete a pass, if those receivers can block, it's going to spring that receiver to, to take it all the way in or spring that running back to take it all in. It all hinges not only on the old line but on the blocking itself. Uh, that's a fact, right? You know, everything everything starts with that blocking, and, uh, mm -hmm. and we're going to see, I mean, from special teams to offensive movement, um, your blockers hold everything together, and, uh, you know, they're the unsung heroes of your team. If your blockers are good, you never hear a thing about them, but boy, oh if your God, blockers let people oh, hear yeah. too, you'll hear it all. <laughs> So, oh, looks like the Warriors feeling. are set to kick off to the Huskies. We've got a couple of minutes left. So, what are you looking at? at um, what are you looking for in the uh, special teams uh, on these two teams? Uh, I, I really haven't watched these two teams yet. But I know, you know, cause I, I was with the Warriors last year. And their special teams, it, it was good special teams. and But it looks like with the offseason pickups, they've gotten a little bit, a little bit better. You know, Sick, who does their kicking, is, is a phenomenal kicker. I've seen him put it put it in the end zone quite a few times for touchbacks. The Huskies, I really ha like I said, really haven't watched them much. But, you know, it'll you know, just go to, show, you know, see what the game, how the game progresses with their special teams. If their special teams get the blocks, they can spring that runner for, for that big game. You know, in past get, seasons, in past seasons, I used to um, run one special teams uh, practice every week. And some people got really upset with me as a, as a coach that I was uh, doing special teams practice because they didn't think it was uh, uh, worth their time. Yeah, yep, exactly. I hear that. But that that's also a very integral part of the game. If you don't have the special teams, you're not going to get a good field position. You don't get a good field position. You can give up, if you're getting sacked, you can give up safeties. You know, and then you end up giving the other team great field position when they get the ball. You've got to try to keep get yourself – great field position so you can have a better chance of scoring and driving that ball. You don't want to have to run the whole end of the field when you can only when you only have to run like maybe half or quarter of the field, depending on where you start off. 
Uh, yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. You know, I mean, as a former coach, a former uh, former team captain, um, and an ongoing team owner from uh, from uh, way 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 back. Yeah, I um, played I'm going to tell you teams. that. Uh, yeah, you 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 played on my team. That's right. You, you've been been one of my guys. And um, and I gotta say, you know, you gotta you um, you gotta practice every aspect of your game. Exactly. That's why, especially with the rookies, bringing them in, you want to teach them blocking first and foremost. It might be like, oh, I'm a receiver, I'm a this, I'm a that. Learn blocking first, so because you learn the blocking, then you can do the receiving. Because if you get a receiver, you can't get the ball to him. If the other guy doesn't know how to block, he's going to get tackled right there. Could, that could be the difference between a busted open play where you score a touchdown or nothing, or you get stopped after five yards. I've seen little five-yard passes. Oh, right, here we go, kickoff. Yep, and as the kickoff is received by Jared, Jared is uh, taking it back. He's across the 15-yard line. He's trying to find some uh, room out to the right like side, he... and he is taken down at the 13-yard line. That is not the kind of field position that the uh, Huskies like wanted to start things out with. west than north. He should have been focused yeah. on going downfield. He, he, like he, was he absolutely yeah, he did like not turn downfield. Okay, looks like they've got the, they got a shot, they got the shotgun formation out. One, got the so the back. Huskies are set up with a shotgun formation. They got uh, one player in the backfield, so they've got four wide and a running back. The uh, um, the Warriors are lined up in their typical defense, and I think we're probably going to see the same kind of thing. We'll see the EDs run in and the OLBs. Oh, oh and then right out of the gate, right out of the gate. Jeloni tackles Zaney and no, Zaney tackled Jeloni. Or in. sorry, Zaney tackles <laughs> Jeloni. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. It goes, not a problem, goes back not and forth. Oh. And so like um, I said, that that is not something they needed. I mean, where was the line? Nobody, nobody mm -hmm. seemed to pick up Zaney. Zaney was nobody there, picked up the blocks. And, and, nobody and, um, nobody picked up the outside linebackers. I saw both outside oh, linebackers. Right. And he so ran, now he's ran one way, and Zaney was right there to wrap them up. Boy, the, the Huskies are going to have to unravel something here because the uh, Warriors are um, have already got two points on the board and they're about to take possession of the football. So that is exactly how the Huskies did not want to start this game. Definitely, uh, and the receiver the kick got Zaney back there. He's he can be if he gets if he gets loose, he can take off. Sick is another one who's got good speed. He can definitely take off. That ball is up and it is short. It's a short kick. Looks like, uh, if I'm correct, that's Lino with the ball. Let me just double check. Yeah, Lino picks up about eight yards. Very, very short kick. I'm surprised. I, I am surprised that they kicked it so, so dang short. Yeah, you don't want to see that kind of short kick, especially um, after giving up the two points. You want to you want to pin your uh, your opponents deep, and they are actually starting their drive in the um, Husky, Husky territory, Senator. just short shy of the 45 yard line. That is not what this is not what the Huskies are looking to start things out with, and uh, and the Warriors the Warriors are showing what uh, what they're made of here, and uh, the Huskies got to answer to it. Well, looks like they got Cal, they got Cal up under. Uh, oh, we, looks like we got a penalty. Looks like we. De I saw a flag come out there, but it looks like looks like Cal the was under the uh, was team. under center. I'm surprised because normally uh, Gooch is their quarterback. I hope uh, Gooch is all right. Repeat. But I know Cal can First quarterback. Down. I have seen him QB before. It looks like we have a delay of game against the Warriors. A loss of five. Well, that is um, playing into the Huskies' um, benefit, so hopefully uh, the Huskies will be able to hold here and maybe put together a new drive. But uh, right now, the Warriors are uh, are very early showing that they've got um, they've got the the uh, desire more than the Huskies. It looked like what happened was it looked like one of their players was late getting onto the field. And that's what caused that delay of game. All right, like I said, we got Cal 
So we got Cal Quan under. We got center. You got Ricky Bobby in the backfield. And you know, and their receiving core is one of the better ones. I mean, with Sick and Zany, those two seem to be able to catch anything. And it is handed off to Zany. He gets about three yards. That's something you don't see many many teams run. That little, uh, I guess, uh, well they, they had, he ended off to the to the tight end. That's something you don't very you don't see much. Oh uh, yeah, that's a fact. You don't you don't you don't see the handoff to the tight end. I know that um, in the uh, second season of the SFL, I did some um, some wide receiver and, handoffs. Uh, yeah, and, to the um, end of rounds. Yep, the end around right, and the, and the, uh, the, the reverse. He's, he's, looks like he is going. He, he's taken off. He has got the first. No, no, he, he does not have the first the down. First. He is what yard shy, but uh, it's third and one at that, the Huskies' thirty-six a, yard line. That looked like that was a breakdown of defense because he's coming out to the side. It looks like they have one guy in the backfield with him. Where was everybody else? Um, that, everybody else was uh, to way Warriors too deep, line. and there was there was absolutely no pressure on that uh, runner. That that shows that the Warriors do have a, a definite. The line is is really good. I mean, if they can, if one guy just gets through, I mean, how how hard is it for no, for a quarterback sorry. to outrun right. one guy? And there was nobody on this one side that he was running to, and he he was easily able. He he was, oh they shut. He gets one yard. Tyree brings him down. That's right. So that it was, was another uh, another try for the run for the first down, but it. Uh... Doesn't quite hit it. We're at fourth and inches, and you looked know like the Warriors defense, are going to go for it at fourth and inches. It looked and, like the defense uh, did wake up, and they actually closed that hole because there was a nice little opening, and they closed it up real quick. They That's sure did, and now see. they're going to have to really stiff it up because um, if they can hold here, uh, they're going to get the ball back at uh, pretty decent field position. But well, you it know, depends on if the Warriors decide to kick a field goal or not. Oh, they're not lined up for field goal. They're going for it here. Oh, it's fourth down. Okay, that's right. It's fourth down. I, see, I have a feeling that the Huskies may be looking for a run because yeah, of the, the defense that they're in, the 4-1. Be nice, you know, throw a little, throw a little, um, maybe a little screen pass to the running back. Yeah, I think they need to be cautious here because I think the Huskies are prepared for a run, uh, but I think a screen pass to the uh, to the right side there might... Uh, <sighs> Might just throw the Huskies into all kinds of turmoil. Yeah, because you block that cornerback off. The safety's too far back. The, other, the inside receiver picks up the safety. That that could easily lead to a touchdown. Uh oh. Okay. Looks like somebody is running off the field. Well, it looks like there's a review on the play, so um, the question is, uh, did somebody challenge something? And we're going to turn towards oh, Dex to oh, see if were, Dex can tell us more. Uh, looks like they brought in brought in a player that had crashed. Looks like uh, Sick TP'd in um, a player that, one of their players that had crashed out. Now we're going to, you know, you got to you know, hold off and wait. You got to get, you know, you got to go through all the, all the, all the checks and then, should get this game going real quick, but like I said, Sick is, I mean, I played with the Warriors last year, and Sick will catch anything anywhere near him. Same with Zaney. Those two are the most dangerous receivers on this team. Oh, yeah. Sick and, Sick and Zaney, I mean, you've got to, you've got to smother those guys. You've got to make sure you're right on top of them, um, and I can think of, you know, maybe less, less cornerbacks that I can count on one hand. That can yeah. uh, cover those guys, and here it is. Cal the snap is, is out. Cal's out to the right, is... and he's got some pressure. No, but, and, oh, he is stopped. Stop him. He stopped, and and I don't think that he was even close to that first down. I think the no, Huskies. No, he, he looked like he just made it back to the line of scrimmage. The Huskies closed the door on him. Very nice. I tell you, that worked real well. They didn't try to rush in. They. It looks like they had a couple people running along the line to protect that, to protect the outside run. Uh, let's see. So the Huskies pretty much sniffed out what the uh, Warriors were going to try and do, and they did. Uh, they did stifle it. And uh, now, uh, as far as we're uh, looking at, my expectation is that we're going to see a first and ten going the other way at the Huskies' 35. I tell you, line. I give their defense after that first run. They really, 
they really clamped down and said, ah, you ain't running on us no more. But see, now that, now that the Warriors so, have run, that may open up their passing the, uh, game. Details here. While we're waiting on the details here, I want to remind everybody we are in the preseason. Huskies versus the Warriors. Uh, Huskies are the home team. But if you are interested in being a referee, um, we would love to see some referees. Please contact Razda McAndrews. And if you want to be a photographer, and who doesn't want to be a photographer, you guys can uh, crank up your uh, your graphics uh, resolution if you want to be a photographer please talk to duchess um duchess is our uh, is our main squeeze on the photographer side and then if you want to be one of the really cool kids and commentate like me and mr blackheart or be a streamer like dex the man uh looks like yep and there it is the uh the flag is or the uh play is going to the uh, huskies we'll first and ten going the other direction if you want to be one of those people talk to matt Asadar, talk to tom box these guys are uh, looking for some commentators streamers anybody that can help us get more film more color and less of me and blackheart because we suck on the field hey speak for yourself ds all right i don't suck black heart <laughs> sucks but oh, i don't thanks a lot man All right. only love my friend only love all right it looks they lined up in the shotgun oh they let those linebackers right in again that's right the linebackers coming oh. in and boy, oh there's a lot of pressure but he gets the throw off picked and off. it is intercepted ricky Wardani picks the ball he just jumped on that route there was way too much pressure and uh when you get that kind of pressure you can't just force a throw See, the thing and, is they, uh, had, they only had two guys back to it they're, they're not nobody's picking up those outside linebackers they need to pick up those outside yep. linebackers well, well they need they need to roll out in a direction they got they got three blockers and uh well now they got four blockers and here it is the uh there's the rush is in but the uh the protection is great and there's the throw and incomplete. it is incomplete oh it was a, a little bit of a risky throw. There were two uh, two defenders there, but uh, but the ball was put in such a position that only the intended receiver was going to be able to get to it. So uh, all in all, I think it was a good throw, but um, uh, I'm almost inclined to blame the receiver on that one. He could have he could have got that. He could possibly adjust it to it. Yeah, I could. That's basically the receiver's job. You know, the ball's not going to always be put in your hands. You got to. Make the move to it. Looks like Cal is rolling out. And there it is. He's rolling he's out to his right. Coming back. Coming back. And he's, yep, oh, coming he's back. He's got some out. pressure. And oh, he oh, oh, is picked. Jared. Coming the other way. Jared, who is an exceptional receiver on his own right, picks that ball, brings it back, and the Warriors get, or the uh, Huskies get to start the new drive at the uh, Warriors' own 44 yard line. Beautiful play. I mean, he read that like a book. I mean, they had some decent, they at least got some decent pressure, which could have led to that. But let's see what they do on defense. They need to get these guards, maybe use a running back to block one of those linebackers. See, it looks like all the guard, the guards are pulling, pulling towards one side, and the ball is up, and it is incomplete. So, in a lot of ways, it looks like that was thrown away because there was just yeah. no blocking going on. Um, the entire offensive line there, I, I didn't see a single one of them pick up a block. Did you, did exactly. you see a block there? Because I sure didn't. No, I, um, I didn't, and I see them strafing the line, but that's not going to do anything to pick up that linebacker. That guard's got to nope. come out, back up maybe on an angle, cut that linebacker off. That's exactly right, because you can see the DEs pick... coming forward, and then the OLBs are coming in on the outside, and there it is again. The OLBs are coming in completely unblocked. Wow. And uh, forcing. up. And amazingly, catch by thrown Jared. into double coverage, thrown into double coverage, uh, he gets the ball to Jared Masing, Jared Masing um, showing what he's capable of because he made a huge adjustment on that ball, sick of theory, saves the touchdown, um, but uh, that was uh, that was a play that was made completely by the quarterback and the, and the wide receiver, uh, the offensive line had nothing to do there. See, the thing is, see, look, they're all going one way, and nobody's getting anything. Well, 
least it was a block. But that one, that one linebacker is right in his face, and the ball was thrown away again. Like yep. Once again, once again, there was no blocking going on. Um, the offensive line seem, doesn't seem to quite have um, an idea of what the quarterback's doing. They're not getting between the quarterback and the and the rushing uh, uh, defenders. The quarterback uh, did a great job throwing that ball away, but we do not want to see that kind of thing as a quarterback. We want to be able to make those connections. Um, you don't want to come away from this with a field goal if you can avoid exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. And there they go. Look at three people got in, untouched. Now this quarterback scrambling, he puts it up, and it is picked yep. off. Three, ru three rushers, <laughs> nobody blocked. He threw it into double coverage. And, uh, and you know, you know that is doing that, you're going to get picked. There's and no doubt yeah, about do that, that, you're going to get picked exactly. So two two defenders there, one receiver, and uh, the defenders won that matchup. See what hands I would do. Down. What I would do with the guards is have them slant out a little bit, cut off those linebackers, let the one defensive line let let the center pick up one of the defensive linemen. That way, the quarterback only has to deal with getting getting around one person instead of getting around three or four. If you get more than one person, they're going to box you in. And, oh, Nesto comes up with a big, big tackle. It looks like we have a penalty called. It's a dead ball penalty, so it can't be refused. So let's find out um, what, the, uh, what the penalty is. Yeah, Darren got, um, Cal handed the ball off to Darren. He got stopped. He, Nesto was like, you ain't doing this to us. Uh-uh, not here, not today. False start on the Warriors. Ah, looks like we had a false start on the Warriors. One of their offensive line jumped a little bit too quick. Well, realistically, if you look, if if a referee is looking for it, uh, every offensive line starts just a little quick because they got to get that jump. And, yeah, um, but if you start too quick, and like if you start too quick, then to you will goal. get called on it. But you, every every offensive lineman knows that you start moving just before that height, so you can make that block. Oh, they got they've got to re -res, looks like they've got to re the formations because looks like they moved it back half the distance to the goal. If the Huskies can get the good pressure in there, they could take them down and tie this game up, real easy. Couple of couple of you know minor mistakes. Well, I think the Huskies are hungry to uh, to get a little revenge here on that safety. Uh, from the opening uh, play, that and they like are trying, oh, Cal. and Cal just is going to run it. He comes up, and he uh, oh. he makes a ton of movement. Beautiful play. I don't know how he squoze through that. That that door looked like it was closing quick, and he squoze right through that. Very nice run. That is a gorgeous run. That's a testament to their. Uh, to their offensive line. Somebody picked up a block. Uh, yep, block. Again, you know, you look yeah. at it and you look at the Warriors offensive line versus the Huskies offensive line and uh, the Warriors are getting the blocks and the Huskies exactly. are not. And they've got to figure that out. And here it is. Again, Cal rolls out to his left. He's got tons of room, tons of space. There's a lot ball of Warriors or Huskies rushing in and he throws the and ball out. Zaney, Zaney takes it. And it is a first down, Warriors. You cannot and that Zaney was across the middle like that. Oh at my no God. point, no. yeah, there was there was not any coverage. Zaney was wide open, and uh, that I mean, right now the the Warriors. But the one thing is, they pick. did they did they did close quick. You know that if Zaney made a couple moves, he could have been uh, he could have been gone. Right, looks like they got the two running backs set. So they got Zaney and Darren in the backfield. Cal in the shotgun. Looks like. Cal is taking it to the right. He's over the line of scrimmage. He has got the first down and looks like about five, four or five more. Beautiful run. Hey, all that time it was, uh, it was pure luck for the Huskies that they managed to make that tackle because one, all it would have taken was one more block for the uh, and Warriors Cal's and gone. Cal would have gone all the way down. But uh, it was an easy first down. Lots of blocking, and uh, you know I think we could have predicted that that it was going to be a, a QB run. And here he is. Cal rolls out to his right. Um, there's a fair amount of protection, a little bit of, and there he is. Ricky Verdani was wide oh. open. Nobody was covering him at all. He was just sitting there, wide open, just past the first down marker, and he took the ball and ran it for an ex another nine yards. Picks up 19 yards on that play, and the Warriors are just sticking 
to the Huskies, and the Huskies really have to come up with something. So here it is, the lineup. We got two two uh, RBs in the back, three wide receivers, plenty of blocks. We got it. Oh, I see a flag coming out. And we got a dead ball penalty. Another false start. Now the Warriors wow. going to have to learn to get a little less excited right now. Um, they have they're they're in the captain seat with the Huskies. They need to understand that um, unless the Huskies do something miraculous here and, and uh, really adjust, they don't have to move that fast off the ball. Exactly, um, exactly. And uh, and the Warriors, the worst enemy of the Warriors so far this game has been the Warriors the penalty, because yeah. the Huskies they're, are not they're, they're moving, giving them any they're moving. hurt. You don't, if, if you don't see the defense really you know, pressure, you really shouldn't have to move. And my guess is that if the Huskies are not playing a zone defense, they should try to play zone because you're not going to be able to play man-to-man -man with these guys. Not with the caliber of receivers they have here. You, cannot, you need to play a zone. You need to keep them boxed up. Can't let them get free. Looks like they are playing a man-to-man. -man. And look, you got somebody sitting right there, right over the. Oh, yep, they're doing one doing man for 13 yards. Yep, man coverage, and we had uh, two receivers there against one defender, and it was, uh, you know, a no-brainer throw because Zay yeah, is going to be had, there. Look, yeah, look, yeah, Ricky Bobby just just hanging out right by the first down marker. Nobody went out and just stood there. Nobody was. Like yeah, well, five, those, ten throw, yards those throws underneath because the um, the Huskies are rushing uh, rushing five people. Cal, and and, and oh, Cal, Cal does, is stopped Nesto for a again. loss. Nesto and that is again. the. Uh, yeah. So right now, Nestor Nesto is the uh, uh, lone spark plug that the Huskies have, and they've got to come up with something yeah. now, more. Do or, is lay, find a way to light a fire under everybody else. I mean, if Nesto, you know, Nesto's a good player, you know, if if, the, if a young defensive line listens to him, you know, listens to his advice, they could be incredible. Well, they as got, you know, the middle linebacker is typically the captain of the defense, and everybody's picked up, everybody's blocked. Um, and but yeah, they're that playing was, man uh, to man, which is killing them. Yep, they're playing man. And uh, and the rush is not getting around those blockers. Every single rusher was being picked up, See, and a lot of Cal had enough time maybe, to throw to Zaney. And once again, a, Zaney maybe take a step back, take a step. Don't rush in. Don't go bull rushing in. You know, sidestep. Try to get around the guy because they're going straight in and and the blocker. Well, the, I mean, yeah. The rule the rule of thumb when you're uh, when you're a rusher is don't get All blocked. Right, Cal, scramble back, Cal. Oh, yeah. a little bit he got short. a little more pressure that time because uh, this time the rushers actually did manage to get around the blocking. But there you um, go. they've got to learn to juke around those blockers just a little better, you know. You just have you know, to make that maybe, one little move. Or maybe, or maybe slide down, you know, run down the line, look for an opening, and then sure. attack. Well, well it, one DE, one DE working containment uh, can make a big difference. Oh yeah, you keep that quarterback in the backfield. You let the other guys get the pressure on them. And there it is. Again, the DEs are blocked. No, the uh, linebackers get, are trying to come in. Through. Ball is up, and it is caught by Lito. And he's still up. He got stumbled, but he's still up. And he... Yep. Fumble, oh, he fumbles fumble. and a fumble, fumble, and it is recovered by the Huskies. Wow. The Huskies Looks like need Frankie that badly. Got the yeah, Huskies need pushed, badly. They're pushed way they're back. They're starting at the three-yard line. They're starting at the three-yard line, so they're gonna have here. to they're gonna have to run it to get some uh, breathing room here. Like I said, remember what happened the last time they started back here? Danny was there and took him down for safety. They've got to control well, those linebackers. Yeah. They've, they've got to they've, somebody... they've got to contain that rush so that they can make some forward progress. Like and said, here it comes. Know, the Huskies are lined up. They got one running back. They're relying on four oh, wide. They let them right and in. Another so, safety. And once again. Once again, the Warriors are in there. It's a safety. It's four to nothing. Um, you know, the field is showing both teams as the Huskies. Um, I think that uh, somebody uh, like our streamer probably ought to let them know that both teams are showing as the Huskies. Uh, anyway, um, right now the Warriors are up four to nothing. <laughs> oh, the Huskies are playing themselves, huh?
Like I said, I don't. Last time it was, last time it was uh, Zany that got him. This time it was D, Cap, or as we know him, Captain America. And yep, I mean, so he ran, Darian, yeah, that was a short right kick. Him. That was an amazingly ran. short kick off. Uh, I'm not sure what they were trying to do there, but uh, it did, certainly did not pay off because the Warriors are starting at the Huskies' 46-yard line. Oh, we got a referee timeout on the field. But like I said, you know, with with that, I mean, the first time. He, he rolled, he rolled one way, bingo, Zaney got him. Last time, the last play, he's in the end zone. He's rolling, and look who's there, the outside linebacker standing right there. If something like that, you drop back a couple steps, and even if you got to throw it away or maybe hit it, have your running back go like five, ten yards over the middle, you know, get him something, you at least get your backs out of the end zone. Yeah, I mean, there's you there's a want, lot of ways to get out of the end zone, and uh, the Huskies you need don't to figure want to out one around, of them. You don't want to run around in the end zone, cause that, that, especially with the way these linebackers are playing. That looks like yep, the shotgun, run up, shotgun, one the run up back. or throw a screen. Downs. And here we go. We yep, got, the Warriors lined up with a shotgun, one running back, oh, fake handoff, Cal. and Cal is back. He's back. He's got plenty of protection. He's got, and he and, oh, and he gets it out, and Darian catches it, Captain America. Oh. Captain America shows us how the game is played. Um, now it couldn't have been easier if it was a shield. Coming his way, he picks up uh, 19 yards before he's tackled by Jared Mason. And he, and he, did, he, you know, he did have to make a slight adjustment. He made that adjustment, just like all good receivers do. They're the ones, you know, they, they have to learn. I mean, I've seen rookie receivers complain because the ball's not thrown to them. The ball's not always going to be thrown right in your hands. you got to... You, have to be able you know, to the ball is never going to be thrown right to your hands exactly. because the way, because if the ball is thrown right to your hands and it's easy to read, oh. you have to adjust. And Cal's got hey, time. Let's... He's doing a lot of running around. He, oh, and he oh, is sacked. Jack. He is Nesto. sacked. Nesto. For a fourteen-yard loss. For once, the Warriors' uh, offensive line does not get the blocks. Um, there was one block there, and the other, uh, the other two blockers on the offensive line <laughs> failed. To pick up their person, and uh, and the result is Cal gets like, sacked. It looks like looks like all these all these losses are from Nesto. I mean, he's not rushing straight in. He's juking and jiving. He's he's moving. He's not. Oh, there you go. Wow. And in one throw, back. one throw. You know, I mean, what do you do here, uh, Blackheart? Do you uh, do you double cover Darian because? He is uh, he is he is absolutely picking up yeah, everything but, that comes within five yards of him. You double cover him, then you're gonna end up leaving either Sick or Ricky Bobby or uh, Lito or Zany. So what's Wide your solution open. here? Because the Huskies need Play to figure zone. it out. Play zone. Down so there's your answer. Look. Absolutely, play zone. And and I think Cal's the Huskies do need to do that. Cal is just coming right up the middle. He just wanted the first down, and that's all he wanted, and he got it. I said you have your cornerbacks play the short zone. You have the safeties play the deep. Tell the safeties not to let anybody get past them. And have that middle linebacker drop drop about from where they are now. Maybe drop to the goal line and watch anything underneath. But the thing is, a lot of, a lot of the younger players, what they're going to do for it, they're going to do, they get hungry for an interception, and they're going to they're going to try to. Uh, oh, Kara takes takes him down for a loss of. Three. Cal so that's a great Cal play like, by Kara. No Kara gets in on Cal, takes him down for three yard loss. Um, so, you know, the Huskies defense are, is showing um, moments of brilliance. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and I think that it's not going to take too long for them to figure this de this offense out. Um, so now uh, the question is, the, will now the now Huskies they, offense figure out, figure out the it. Warriors defense? I think, I think with this, you're going to have that. No, I would I would have definitely had that uh oh, okay. Lots of pressure on Cal and he is all yep, he is swarmed and swallowed. Twenty five yard loss. That Victoria was uh, very painful. Down. Wow. Yeah, that, that takes him out of field goal range. Um well not quite out of field goal range, but boy out of a um pretty close to it. Third and thirty eight, that was uh a great defensive effort on the part of the Huskies. Exactly, and the, and the, and the secondary had the coverage, so he really didn't, he had 
he's trying to look over the field to see who he can find. It looks like they're starting to clamp down on their coverage a little bit. Like I said, I thought on that play with them having the um, the flood on the triple trips on the one side, I thought they would have their line their outside linebacker come out and cover, but it looks like they're having their middle linebacker cover. It looks like looks once like again they're... Cal's taking a deep, deep prop. He's got pressure. He gets the throw off. Oh and sick. sick. Wow, she manages to come up with it, but still, still shy of that first down. Um, yeah, I noticed you know, what they're doing also. You see in Ricky, you see Ricky Bobby come out, and I'm guessing it's a linebacker or the, the outside linebacker is blocking him a little bit, slowing him down, taking him out of the play. That's one thing you do. If you take a player out of the play, if that's their, that's a quarterback's main receiver, guess what? He's got to look for other, other options. But that was a beautiful pass under pressure. And like I said, sick will catch just about anything. If it's near him, Cal's he's got it. Height. All right, Cal's rolling. His ball is up, and his man. And there it is. That was that was the throw that they wanted. That was like, um, you know, Zany Zany had the the uh, open field. His uh, his his CB was behind him. Was not yeah. in a position to make a play on the ball. Exactly, and, uh, and that was just uh, just a little too easy. But I've seen, but I've seen, I've seen, um, especially young cornerbacks and young safeties get ball hungry. They go for the ball, and they jump it, and they miss the ball, and then they leave their, they leave, especially safeties. I've seen safeties do this where they, they just, you know, they leave, they go for the ball, it goes over the head, the guy's behind them, bingo, instant touchdown. You got to keep that player in front. Of, Oh, looks like the ball is coming back. Right ah, it looks like, yeah, we missed something here because it's say they're saying it's a turnover and downs, but we see that it was a touchdown play. So, oh, I okay, see. it probably didn't register then. Well, we've we've gotten we've gotten used to that. Yeah. So yeah, for 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 our for our, uh, for our viewers, like you know, understand that we uh, have a brand new field and a brand new ball that just got released two days ago, and uh, there are still a few kinks to work out, which is why we're of course having this uh, extra uh, extra preseason weekend. Oh, they were in water. I saw them fall in front of me. The kick is up and it is good. And with that, it is 11 nothing Warriors. I mean, I've never seen a game that started off with two straight safeties. That, I mean, and we have. Yep, that is uh, very uncommon to see uh, safeties. In fact, if you see one safety in a game, it's pretty unusual. This is the uh, first game that I can recall uh, that playing, commentating, or watching that had two safeties at all let alone two in a row yeah back to back on on possessions all right ball is kicked and ball goes oh out of and the it's ball bounces up. takes a horrible bounce for the warriors bounces out of bounds just before the pylon and the uh, huskies get to take over at their own 40 yard line well okay this is about the best uh field position the huskies have had let's see if they can make something out of it they need they did they definitely need to get a touchdown to keep you know keep this game close they can't afford to let those, they got to keep those linebackers out of there. They need to. Maybe they might yeah, use. Yeah, right uh, now, right now the uh, the blockers need to hold on. We've got um, we've got one back in the uh, one running back in the backfield, two tight ends, two wide receivers. Oh, Dana came right through the and line. And right again, right oh through there was no God. blocking. And you can't and you can't be you can't be running back that far because you get yep, sacked. That, that's an in, incredible be, incredible drop. Ball the is, ball and was, it is picked. Smoke, Steelo yep. gets gets the pick. That's There's no surprise on that one because the uh, the pressure, you know, the, the pressure, the pressure was intense. And I mean, uh, the one player, the one defensive end, came right up the gap, right into the quarterback's face. Of course, he had to run. He couldn't, he couldn't get his get get set and look for his receivers. If you got somebody in your face like that, you can't. You don't have time. All you think about is getting the ball, getting the ball out of your hands, so you don't end up with a sack, no. a massive loss of yardage. All right, Cal's rolling. He, he picks up a block. They get. They do have some pressure. They have a lead. They chase him. The Huskies are able to pressure oh. Cal, and Cal throws that one away. 
and um, that was a pretty safe throw receivers. because there yeah, wasn't there anybody receivers. there that could get it. But there were a couple of receivers down there who might have been able to get it, but... Well, there were some guys, receivers that were open downfield, but Cal didn't have the chance to see it. See and, uh, exactly. and that is a, a testament to the Huskies' defense. The Huskies are defending well, but they need to figure out something on the other side of the ball because their offense is, yeah. uh, I'm is pretty much uh, stalling out. Earlier. Now, I've been seeing a lot of flashes of brilliance, like you said earlier, but they have to string it together consistently. And that ball is thrown short. But, and Cal really didn't have that much pressure. Uh, Cal had no pressure on that one, unless, and he had plenty of time to make a, that play. Unless that was a, a blown route. But like I said, they... Well, if it was a timing play, it could have been a blown route. But Cal had the kind of time there that. Uh, oh yeah. If it was, a, if it oh, was, it, it couldn't. Like, it should not have been a timing play. It looks like they've got they've got the uh, trip receivers out. Let's see what. Oh, uh, they got the one receiver sitting there right. The first, they got two receivers right in the middle. So I'm seeing on the Husky oh. side that Victoria seems to be able to. Um, elude the blocking she is bringing in the most pressure consistently on cal and cal is uh consistently running around trying to throw that ball away with victoria breathing down his thing back. is cal had two receivers standing right at the first down marker shadowing him nobody anywhere near him what is the secondary doing nobody's going to pick those guys up all right we have a the warriors have called a timeout like i said this game Tell you this game's a lot closer than I thought it would be. I thought the Warriors by now would have blown the doors off this game, but you know the defense is starting to starting to come together. But they have to figure out what to do with their secondary. Their secondary is, I mean, come on, you're leaving two guys over the middle with nobody anywhere near them. Something's definitely wrong. All right, we've got a fourth and ten at the at the fifty yard line, and it looks like the they're definitely going for it. Cal's rolling out. He's getting a little bit of pressure. Somebody coming up from the backside. Ball throws it up, and it is thrown away. We have a change of possession. Huskies take over. They good defensive stand. They really didn't let them get anything. They didn't get, let them get out of the gate. Now let's see if the Huskies can take it back the other way and get some points on the board. You definitely don't want to go into halftime with no points on the board, especially since the other team is going to be receiving opening the second half. Well, that's a fact. Now, you know, the, the score is not horrible. It's not out of control, but you really do want to put some points on the board. Yeah, especially since, you know, you know what, what they can, again, the defensive lineman's getting right through there. They've got two people chasing them down, and he's He's, he definitely needs to get rid of that ball. Oh, he evades him. Oh, and he's got some room. He gets past all the blocking, and he, oh. And he throws it away. Oh, it was a great throw. It was just a little shy, a little shy of that receiver, and that was uh, a heartbreaking throw for, you, the, uh, for the Huskies. They almost had that, and it just came a little short. That was, that was definitely good moves on the quarterback. I mean, that was just about perfect. I mean, he, had, he was getting boxed in, and so, still he found a way to get out of it. If that pass would have been completed, that would have been better. All right, they're starting to pick up people. They still got, oh, he sidesteps it and throws it short again. At least he's able to side, he's, he's paying more attention to what the defense is. He's able to sidestep them and uh, at least get the pass off instead of taking a huge sack. Yeah, that was, um, that was a respectable play there. But uh, right now, they've got to do more than just not get sacked. Um, otherwise, they're just going to be playing from uh, behind the eight ball the entire game. They like said, you know, as long as they can, if you can complete, get the first down, then they get a new set of downs. And then he, you know, then he's, def he's definitely going too far back. The ball is up, and it is, oh, oh, just missed it. I don't know if it was me and that's one of those that. heartbreakers, right? I mean, you look at it, and oh, it's yeah. like you had you had the, the the receivers there you wanted, and they just didn't come up with it. Unless unless the um, 
the receiver misjudged that. But that, you know, I mean, with, with teams, they should have, you know, when you're in there, you know, if, if, the, if the main receiver's, you know, covered, if one of the other receivers open, let the quarterback know. Get that pass underneath. Don't go for the bombs. Go for the little, the high percentage passes. The ball is up, and it is picked off by Zaney. He cuts back around, picks up a couple blocks, and he is stopped at the 50. What is this ball? The ball doesn't seem to be able to get past the 50. What is it with this? And we've got about just a little over two minutes left in the half. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of back and forth there right around midfield. So uh, we're going to have to see what the Warriors can nothing. do. Oh, uh, looks like he's got Zaney in the backfield with him. Down set. He's got Ricky Bobby and Lito to one side. Looks like Sick and Darren over to the other side. And Cal is off to the races. He is Cuts back, cuts back to the sideline. He picks up. That was too much yardage. That defense has got to be able to get in there. They just got caught up in their blocks again. They're, something's not, something's not clicking. Because they were getting pressure on them before, and now all of a sudden, nothing. And he's able to rattle off a 20-yard run. So we're at the two-minute warning. The uh, clock has been stopped. Um, the Warriors. <laughs> It's interesting because we're seeing that the Warriors are are really sort of dominating the game, but they have not been able to to really pull the trigger on that uh, exactly that, that killer play. They've made one touchdown, two safeties. The Huskies are not um, are not answering the Warriors in any way, but they're also not really giving it up. And here comes Cal. He comes across the field. He's uh, he picks up five yards on the run. Um, but he's going to have to do more. The Husky, uh, the Warriors are going to have to do more. Um, and we know the Warriors are capable of doing more. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, Down with the receiving side. core they got, Cal is a good quarterback. Cal is a real good quarterback with the receiving core they got, especially since it seems oh, they definitely got pressure back there. They, they chased him around. Cal is looking downfield. He has – oh, it is picked off Jared. Gets a pick off, but he is quickly brought down. He is quickly yeah. brought down. Yeah, no, Jared was right there with his receiver. Um, of course, the receiver was there to make the tackle because Jared was all over his receiver. Um, it's a it's a combination of saying, okay, well, Jared was in the right position, but it was a great reaction by Lido to, to uh, stop him. And here oh, it comes again. Oh, and it, no. oh wow. He, oh, he gets away from it. And, and yep, there it is. In. Another the safety. Third. The third safety by the Warriors. In the first half. In the first half, the Warriors are just gonna gonna are looking to win this on safeties alone. I mean, he stumbled them. Instead of running back into the end zone, if the blocking was there, he could have probably gotten a good five, ten yards, maybe more, out of that play. But the blocking again broke down. Well, let's see if they can get a you know a decent a decent kick. Uh, looks like he definitely got a got a good piece of that ball, and it is a touchback. I think this this is gonna be the worst field position. The um, no, I think they no, they started off back with it, but but we know what the Warriors can do. We know they. Can, you know, I mean, a minute nine that's more than enough time for the Warriors to drive downfield. Because everybody, you know, you know they can do it with their receiving core. They've got it. It is definitely a much more talented team than it was last year. Well, the Warriors have uh, have been improving pretty steadily over a very short period of time. And, uh, I mean, for you know, as a player, I'm really looking forward to playing them because I think they've got a lot of hunger and, uh, um, and a little contention is going to give them a lot of help. I think they, they, they just need to feel some, some pressure – uh, to, turn, to make them turn that corner and, and uh, uh, one of those teams. Yeah. Like I said, Cal, Cal did have some pressure. It looks like he threw it low to the receiver. The receiver just could not get back to pick it up. Now we got second and 10 on the 20. Cal is rolling. He's got pressure in front of him, and he's got oh, a little overthrown. Look like he had, looked like he was looking for his, uh, his, 
his man Zaney, because Zaney was the only one that was really in that area, but he just put a little bit too much underneath yep, it. A little too much mustard on that, but uh, Zaney was the only person that could have gotten to it. Uh, he couldn't quite get to it, but uh, I don't think that was uh, anything on Zaney, and I think that Cal threw just just put a little more more uh, oomph on it than he should have. Well, it uh, looked like one, was a good one play. of the defensive players was in Cal's face, so he might have had to throw it up a little bit to prevent either a pickoff or a bat down. Looks like they're getting the, the linebackers are getting in now, but then they're getting picked up late. Cal is scrambling. He, he's throwing cross field, and it is looks like Zaney. Yeah, Cal got oh, some pressure, off to the races. and Zaney's gone. Goodbye. He is gone, and that's it. He is uh, cutting to the outside. He's at the 10, and he, oh, he runs. Oh, he does he get exactly does. Jared, Jared wow. really gave up on that play. I think, uh, just about any other player would have uh, let that run for a touchdown. Jared did not give up on it the entire time, and uh, that we got to give, we gotta give a big shout shout out to him because you know, and and that's a lesson for all of you players out there: do not give up on the play because um, from from the from the sidelines that looked like a touchdown all the way, and the only thing that stopped it was Jared's absolute stick to itiveness. So, congratulations, hey, Jared. Very nice play. I got to give him that. Like I said, you can't give up. Even when all is down, you can't give up. You just got to keep going and going and plugging away. Even if even if you're playing a game, you're losing. You never know. Something could happen to where you could end up pulling it out and turning it around and winning the game. I've seen that happen before. Oh, looks like the outside linebacker gets blocked. Oh, Cal just overthrew that. Well, Cal had a lot of pressure on that one. And uh, if he did not throw it right at that second that he threw it, it would have been a sack. Been, oh, yeah. But and again, the, the Huskies' defense is showing that they are defensively capable of playing with any team on this in this league. But um, yeah, the Huskies' offense big work. has to rise up to the occasion. Exactly. And, I mean, I've noticed a lot of quarterbacks. I mean, Cal I haven't seen really drop back that far unless he's got a huge amount of pressure and his receivers are completely covered. But I've seen quarterbacks drop back 20, 30 yards, and then, then you get, you know, you drop back that far, you get, get put in the hole. Oh, he's got definitely got pressure, and, and Cal throws that away again. Looked like it was going for, looked like it might have been for, uh, like he was looking for, who is it? Darren, I believe? No, sick. Looked like he was looking at, looking for yeah, sick he was in the throwing corner. Yeah, sick. But he had three players around him, and, you know, you got to, with something like that, you got three players around you, you got to get it up, and a lot of times you overthrow the receiver. All right, here we go. I like. I would like to see the Huskies another goal, you know, a goal line stand, you know, a red zone stand. See if they can keep them out. That would definitely show me that that they that they're able to do it. But then they still have to work on the secondary because there's still people floating free. And another one. I tell you, the secondary's play is play. Definitely now I'll tell you right now that line. this is definitely yeah this is definitely a game of defenses because uh, neither offense is really um, doing anything to write home about but the defenses yeah, are, are smothering. He like said if the defensive line is getting in their pressure on the quarterback, oh looks like they're going for the field goal. They are going to try to put some kind of points on with six seconds left in the half. Yeah, six seconds left. You might as well put some points on the board. Um, they obviously know that the that the Huskies defense is up to the occasion. So just kick it, put another three points up, go up 14 nothing, 16 nothing. 16 nothing. Yeah, so 16 nothing for the Warriors on a lot of safeties. In uh, and, and again, you know, you see all these safeties, and all you can say is this is this is a defensive struggle. Right? I mean, the I've seen the defenses I mean, three are in one half is way unreal. better. I've never seen three in one half. I've I have barely never seen, seen one in a game. Half. I've never seen one in a game. Never was three in one half. Well, I've seen one in a game, but I have ne I've seldom seen two in a game, let alone in a half. And we've seen three in this half. Exactly. You know, that's definitely a testament to the defense, the um, the Warriors' defense. Oh, there's two blue guys coming from the side. Oh, very nice. I think, I think All right, so we go to the half. Cal. It is 16 uh, nothing. 
Huskies over the Huskies. Oh, they still haven't fixed it. Uh, 16 over the, Warriors, Warriors over the Huskies. Over the Huskies. <laughs> <laughs> and we uh, so we continue fun. on. Um, do we have both cheer squads out there? Do we have? Uh, well, okay. I, was, uh, I I almost said something really inappropriate right, about the me, Huskies me, cheerleaders. So oh. let's just say that here come the Husky or here come the um, here come the cheer squads. Yay, cheer squads! You guys rock. I don't think people understand how important it is. I to, think next year I'm gonna be a cheerleader. To the league, they have cheer squads. I think I pretty much had as a football um, player. Next year I'm gonna be a cheer cheerleader. You will be a cheerleader I'm because be we have cheerleader uh, in the league. The Seahawks have the only cheerleader um, with a uh, with a Super Bowl ring. How about how about uh, how about how about this ugly cheerleader? I don't think I got the legs for the outfit, so. All right, let's hit, let's head over to the chili to see what they're doing, see what they got planned. For. Sound muted.
Sound resumed. Sound muted. Sound resumed. Sound muted. Sound resumed. I feel like pay for hours. Hey, Dex, we coming back? All right. All right. Oh, I love you so cute. Out of it. Sound muted. Prepare to receive the kick the second half. We're just waiting for the Huskies to come out. And we get the second half underway. Like I said, the, you know, that, that first half, those three, I mean, uh, three safeties and a half, that was completely amazing. I've never seen anything like that. But that's what happens when, when the offensive line is not blocking and you're pinned back by your end zone. That's going to happen. They get, the Huskies have to figure out a way to stop those outside linebackers. I mean, their they're, they're secondary is <laughs> doing fairly well. But the... defensive line is doing pretty good it's doing nice I mean they're doing a real good job they're getting they are getting pressure but they're not getting as much pressure as they need to get but but that offensive line if that quarterback does not have the time he's running back and it's harder to complete the passes because then the receivers have to adjust more to catch the ball and you're getting you're running further back so you're getting less yards instead of getting more yards I say we'll see what the Huskies come out with in the second half. Hopefully they can they can they can pull they can pull it together and maybe get some points on the board. And here they come out onto the field, debating the second half. Yeah, but 
All right, let's. Wow, looks like Gooch is here. Gooch is back center. Oh, there was one side. You have Sick Akiri and the ever dangerous Zany. Definitely need to watch out for those two. Any one of those three can bust it open. You get the right blocks, that's it. These guys could be gone. And, the, and it is, ball is up. Zany grabs all of it. He's coming down the field. He's got. He's got Gooch and Sick. He cuts back towards the middle of the field. He is brought down. He picks up 27 yards. Nesto Quattro takes him down after a 27-yard gain. Warriors will be starting off at their 30-yard line. Let's see what the uh, let's see what the Warriors pull out of their little bag of tricks now. Because I know they're definitely. I've said it all game, but they're definitely a talented team. They've got the. Uh, the trip receivers over to the one side. Let's see how, let's see how the um, Huskies. Cal takes a snap, rolls around. He just misses his receiver. Oh, that was so close. If the Huskies can keep up this, the pressure, they could definitely, they can, they'll definitely be able to. Keep them at bay. That's one thing. You keep a quarterback under pressure. That's it. And they have Gooch under under center right now. He's out of the shotgun. You've got the trips over to the one side. Gooch is. Oh, they are getting some pressure. They have. Gooch is scrambling. He's scrambling back. He puts the ball up, and completes it to Ricky Wardini. Beautiful pass. Somehow Ricky just shook his coverage and was standing there. Nobody really near him. That was a beautiful pass by Gooch. I mean, he seems to be able to look. He must have more than one set of eyes because he's able to look downfield and see everything. And that's basically what a good quarterback has to, has to do. They have to be able to look and see if the primary is not open, who is. And, and if the... If they communicate, let them know, hey, I'm open, you can get the ball to them. Gooch's script. Oh, the, the line is definitely doing the job. Gooch is off and running. He's got the first down plus a couple more. He, he picked up about 11 yards before Tyree took him down. They're falling for that again. They're, they're, letting, him, they're letting him get that corner. You, those defensive linemen, somebody's got to seal off that corner, chase him back to the middle to where the other players are. Or there's no way that they're going to be able to be able to stop him. That is a fact, and uh, I uh, I had a little bit of a RL uh, sidetrack there, so thank you for uh, covering on me. Hey, not a problem, not a problem. Yo, we were a team. We got to work together. Can't let the air go silent. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, and we've been a team before, which is uh, which is awesome. So uh, we continue on. And now we're, we're still a team, but on different teams. Like I say, looks like Gooch, Gooch made it in for halftime, and they got him behind, behind, up behind center. And I mean, they let him get the edge again. When Gooch ran it for about 11 yards, they let, they got to stop letting him get that edge. They cannot let him get that corner. They have to slide somebody down there. Contain him. Make him go back to the middle where your other players are. That way you get the sack. You're not going to get a sack doing it by yourself. There goes Gooch rolling out. He is. He steps up to the line of scrimmage. Completes it. Sire, oh, he's gone. That's it. That was. That just seemed to be a breakdown in the secondary. Nobody. What's, yep, what's nobody that? was Receiver covering there. The that, was just there, was nobody there. that was just a runaway there. And again, Gooch is definitely, definitely a quarterback who looks down the field. He will see everything. He'll see, he'll see stuff that people don't normally see. Oh, it looks like there's. Why does it look like Gooch is in the or Sick is in the quarterback position? Like he's gonna get the ball snapped to him, and the ball is up and is good. It is 23 nothing. That's something that the, that the Huskies did not need. They did not need to kick the ball off and 
have the Warriors drive it downfield for a touchdown to open up the second half. All right, we got Freaky back. Freaky. Jared and Jeloni back deep to receive the kick. Let's see. Let's see if the special teams, if, if the special teams can pick up, pick up blocks. Looks like Jared gra gets, grabs the ball about the. Uh, oh, he, very nice, very nice run. Giving themselves good field position. Let's see if they can make the most yep, out of that. That's field what they position. needed right there, and we're going to see what happens as they progress. It's going to move up. He picked up. 31 yards, not a bad run. With a few more blocks, he might be able to get a few more yards. But let's see if the offensive line can hold it together and and get him the blocking and keep those, especially those those speedy outside linebackers. Because those guys are in there real quick. And if you're letting them get in there, if the quarterback says hi, you can all of a sudden. Oh, looks like all oh, they called the corner. Looks like they brought in a cornerback blitz, and oh, he ran right into. Right yeah, into right into that linebacker. coverage, and oh. bam, he is uh, he is down. It was a brutal I, loss. I think, twenty-two I, yards. I think what happened was that kind of messed with them because they didn't bring the linebacker and they dropped the linebacker into coverage. It looked like they brought the cornerback in, and nobody knew what to do. They brought Eric in off that corner spot, and, I mean, you bring a quarterback in and you're expecting a linebacker, the line's not going to come out to, the line's not going to know what to do to block them. They have, to, you know, they have to be ready for everything. All right, they got the blocking. They only got one guy. One guy. Oh, he's got to get out of the end zone. He's got to get out of that end zone. Ball is up, and it is overthrown. But at least he was able to evade. The defense, because that looked like that looked like they they had him boxed in the end zone. He found a little hole, was able to squeak right through it. But it looks like the offensive line is starting to pick up the blocks now. They're not letting everybody get in. They found a way to close those floodgates. Yep, they have they're, to watch they're closing out. that. They have to watch out for that uh, that cornerback blitz, because that'll surprise the heck out of you. So it's third and a long, long 32 for the Huskies. Two wide receivers, one running back. Oh, uh, Janie's chasing him down, and the ball is uh, it thrown falls just short. It was a great throw, and the receiver was almost right there. Now, Diaz, what would you do in this position? Would you try to go for it and give the give? The, hey, uh, right now, I would go for it. Sure, I, I'd go for it. But you know, yeah, but it, I, you know, the, the Seahawks can make that kind of that kind of play. Hey, 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 you know, hey, hey, I, hey, hey! I'm just saying, we <laughs> can we can make that play. Um, I'm hoping the Huskies can. Yeah, it looks like the Huskies took the smart way on the side. No, they are going for it. I thought they would. I thought they would punt it. Because if they don't make this play, you're given you're given a great oh yeah, it's a great, great, it's great position. But if they have to make this play, they have to go for it because. Oh, we can hold it, hold it. Oh, may delay have a penalty. Of game. We got a delay. Of now game. they may so knock it back. Now they got to just get knocked back. Oh, that definitely hurt them. So let's see what they decide to do. But see, even punting from back here is dangerous because your punter's in the end zone, and if somebody gets through, that could lead to another safety. Uh, say, yeah, the last thing you want to do is set a record for number safety. <laughs> I wonder if there is a record like that. Uh, well, I reckon so, and uh, well, uh, right now the Huskies are, are angling for it. I think I think I think the, the three and a half might be might be a record. I'll have to check on that. Somebody find the record books for us. See what we have. You know what I haven't seen in a long time. A blocked kick. Yeah, you know, the last time I remember seeing one of those was uh, um, prior to the UFL during the tournaments. Uh, in fact, the Bills made a blocked kick, and uh, it got overturned. And uh, after 
much debate in looking at the uh, uh, replays. Um, why was it really it, happened? How come it was overturned? What happened? How'd yeah, that... it was overturned because they didn't. Uh, it it uh, they're, they're, well, I'll have to go look at the at the film again. Yeah. But, uh, but the ultimate result was that. Um, um, oh, it looks like, looks like it was a block kick back. and a return for a touchdown, but it didn't happen. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, what's going on here? <laughs> so, uh, so basically what we're saying is that... Uh, the uh, the glitches with the latest ball in field uh, are continuing to bite us here in the UFL, um, which again is why we have this extra weekend of preseason football to yeah, try get, and work out some of the field issues. Exactly, exactly. Go on. They'll get you know by the time they get it worked out, they'll come out with a new ball, a new field. Okay, looks like they've gone trips over to the other side now. Now we got this all straightened out. I tell you, if this offensive line can keep the Warriors defense at bay, give that quarterback enough time, and you know, it seems like anything you throw near Jared, he's going to catch. Okay. Ah. Ball start. Oh. Five yard penalty. Repeat. Fourth down. Okay, it looks like it is a false start against the Huskies. Knocks him back five yards. Now, if this offensive line can hold these defenders out here, keep them out here, give that quarterback time, he can hit one of his, one of his receivers. I know I haven't seen much of Tyree. I don't know what he can do, but I know Jared can. If the ball is near him, he's gonna make he's gonna make an effort to catch it. Let's see what we're doing. He's rolling back. He's in the end zone. He's got to get out of that end zone. And he is taken down for yet another safety. So that makes the fourth wow. safety that the Huskies have given up to the Warriors. Um, the Warriors are definitely hungry to set the record for safeties in a game. And uh, without a doubt, they hold it at this moment. Um, although it's not a regular season game. Uh, yeah, it's not a I think that the, uh, next time that the Warriors and Huskies meet, the Huskies are probably hoping to uh, create that record, and I think the uh, the Huskies have to, have to figure out how to make that not happen. Exactly. That was that was their, their D that got that. I mean, they've been, I've been, there's been a couple of places where they've let her run right in. I mean, nobody blocks her. She just comes right up the gap, and this time it turned around and bit him. She ended up, uh, she ended up, Taking him down. I mean, he rolled right into her. I mean, I, I could see the defensive line, you know, picking up a block, but you have to pick up multiple blocks. You have, even if you have to block the same person three or four times to keep them away from your quarterback. That's the thing. Not the, not the single block, but you got to get the multiple blocks. Looks like they got a couple of players stuck out on the field because I guess they got on their. Uh, Okay, looks like we're just about ready to actually looks like this guy stuck somewhere at the right around the 50 yard line. He can't get off. Uh, yeah, the Huskies are looking short one player. They've got yeah, eight he, on the field. Actually, he's on the wrong. Oh, post there ball. we go. He got stuck at the uh, 50 yeah, yard there he was. line. Yeah, he was he was on the receiving team. I think he was uh, he was hoping to maybe uh, bring that back for a touchdown and get some <laughs> points on the board. But in any case, the Warriors are leading 25 to nothing as the kickoff goes deep. And here comes the return. The Warriors have picked up a lot of blocks. There's not a lot of pressure. Oh, There's a handoff. Nice little handoff. And the Warriors take uh, take uh, their opening drive at their own uh, 41 and a half yard line. Yeah, I. I I tell you that that I think we're going to see a little bit more of the uh, the handoffs on the kickoff because I mean they're going after one guy they see they see has the ball and all of a sudden the answer to another guy is going the opposite direction they could end up breaking it breaking it for a big big gain he's running around he's getting a little bit of pressure oh my lord you've got they let they let yeah, they had some pressure but there was absolutely no coverage in the secondary. 
He had Sick a wide open there. receiver there in Sick. And this has not been the first time. Sick has found a way to be sitting there oh, with that absolutely no sick. coverage. That was not that was not um, sick, my Oh that was not sick. My oh, bad. It was, my bad. It was Aolfs. It was Aolfs. So was that was a, a great play by Aolfs. They left him standing there wide wide open. You know, you don't leave yep. a player standing there. And this is not the first time. The Warriors have had and a there he is uh, again. He's standing there again, wide open. Yep, wide open, wide open. A lot of lot of oh. open stuff undercover and oh. they oh a little and that thrown. was and that was a risky, risky, risky play on the Huskies' part. They left a player wide open, a receiver wide open there in the end zone. Um, a, a slightly yeah, closer Zaney, throw. Zaney, I think, I think was and Zaney has on that. the afterburners. I mean, he's a quick receiver. He knows how to play the position. He's very good at what he does. Again, since they're getting some pressure on Gooch, he's going to take it. They left, They gave him a big hole. Gooch cuts around, he gets a first down. He's got about. He's a, they uh, they stopped him. They pinned him on the sideline. Beautiful run by Gooch. They, they left that middle. The Huskies left that middle wide open, and Gooch will be the first one to take it. I mean, he picked up 23 yards before Nesto brings him down. But still, they've got to watch it. They they can't let they can't give. The quarterback, that big gap in the middle with nobody, nobody covering it. Gooch snap, and the ball is thrown away. And Gooch had enough time. He definitely had enough time. I mean, the offensive line of the Warriors, very good. They're giving the quarterbacks enough time to look over the field to see who they have to see who they can throw to complete the passes. Defense has got to get some more pressure in there. And their secondary has to has to watch what's going on. Gucci's rolling. He's got somebody coming up behind. Oh, Darian with the catch for the touchdown. Beautiful, beautiful pass. Gucci was under pressure, but Gucci seems to play very well under pressure. Beautiful, beautiful. Score is 31 nothing Warriors pending the extra point. But this game has definitely been highlighted on safeties. We've had four, I believe it's four safeties by the Warriors. We've got about 345 left in the third quarter. The Warriors leading 31 nothing. Pending the extra point, which Warriors, would push them up to 32-nothing. I mean, what can I say? The Warriors are just putting on a clinic. Today, I mean, the Huskies have shown flashes of brilliance. I mean, they show they know what they're doing, but they're not, they have to be more consistent. The offensive line has to work together as a unit, has to get those blocks, has to keep keep the people off the quarterback. Yep. No, it's uh, it's no, really back, been. Brother. Yep. It's been a, it's been a war defenses, but the Warriors are definitely uh, showing what they've got, and uh, and I'm not sure what happened right there. Um, <laughs> there was a point after. Um, yeah, it was a point nothing. after, but uh, yeah, I mean, I saw the ball on the field, and it yeah, he did. He did. Fun. Yeah, they did. Com Gucci complete a pass to uh, to Captain America. So one thing, one thing I've, I've seen Gucci, I've noticed Gucci too. He'll run up. The line of scrimmage, which tends to pull the um, the defensive backs off, which frees up his receivers. Which, if a quarterback can do that, if the line is good enough, the quarterback can do that. Get up to you pull his yep. defensive backs up, thinking he's going to run. That's going to yep, leave your that's receivers absolutely wide fact. Open. And I've seen Gooch run right up to the line of scrimmage and then drop back for that throw. And that has been uh, okay. Jared, Gre Jared, and Jared takes the ball, the ball and. He's, he's up to the 30, and he's continuing to juke around. Oh, he's trying he to oh, stepped out of bounds. Fi yeah, the, 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 he had great Ouch. block in. He had great opportunities. If he'd come back to the inside, I think he might have had some more yards. But uh, still, is, the like, Huskies take over like at the 31 and a half yard line. The Huskies are still trying to get on the board, and it has been a struggle for them uh, defensively. Both teams have been playing amazingly. Offensively. 
the Warriors are definitely showing the I edge. I definitely give them the edge. Oh yeah. And and that is why we're looking at a 32 nothing lead by the Warriors. Okay, ball is snap. Look at this. He's picking up some blocking. Oh, he gets stuffed at the line of scrimmage by Dana. See, that's what containment. That's what containment will do. To, he was trying to make that run, and she was right there. Nothing you can do about it. But on that kickoff, if Jared had, had got hadn't stepped out of, out of bounds, he might have been able to get about another five, ten yards. It looked like they had a nice little wall on the one side of him. And all they had to do was just, you know, he just happened to move a little bit too much towards the sideline. All right, ball. Oh, again, Zaney in uh, Captain America. Yeah, there was absolutely no blocking loss. again. The uh, Warrior defense just penetrates completely, drops, um, drops Jared for his, for what, See, a 14 yard loss. I don't know if you realize this, but sometimes they're picking up the blocks, they're working together, and other times it's like, oh, what do I do? It looks like they're completely confused. Down, set, hike. And look at the, Dana came right up the middle. If it wasn't, oh, and Zaney takes him down for a nine yard loss. See, on that play, I noticed Danny came up the middle, looked at the running back, picked her up, but then nobody picked Zaney up. They got to pick up That's those right. outside yeah, they got to pick up that. They, yeah, the outside linebackers are the dangerous ones. The um, the defensive ends are there to contain, but the outside linebackers are there to sack. So now we're at fourth and 33. The Huskies are sitting at their own eight-yard like, line. It looks like they are going to punt it. And, and uh, you know, punting it looks like we've got at this Zaney point in the game, and... they're just trying to stop the bleeding. So you got Zany and Gooch back to receive the punt. Punt is up. Gooch grabs all of it. He's take oh, with the blocking. If they get the blocking, he's got Gooch the blocking. Be gone. He's, he's making dangerous. makes a couple of moves, and the Warriors are taking over at their best field position for their for an opening drive at the Huskies' own 31-yard line. <sighs> That's not something you with, with a team like this. You want to pin them back. You want to pin them back as far as you can. Make them work for their touchdowns. Because with this, one completed pass, that's a touchdown. That's right. And now, uh, you know, I mean, they're, they're starting their opening drive within field goal range. Here comes Gooch. And, you know, Gooch comes around. Running he's it, running it. And he's got plenty of room. He's going to get the first down. And, and more. more. He and more. And he's going touchdown. for it. And it's a touchdown, it. Warriors. Bye -bye. 38 to nothing. The Huskies... Have got to you, figure this out because beautiful they are running. Just, he picked up a few blocks along the way, but he cut but back. Yeah, that in. was that was pretty much made by uh, by a couple of jukes on Gucci's part, and uh, he made that play happen. I mean, he did pick up a couple blocks down about the 10, 15 yard line, which basically that was it. Once they picked yeah. up that block, that he was gone. Oh. Wow. Like I said, you don't want to give this offense short field because they'll take it every time. Uh, and they certainly taught that lesson well because, uh, you know, with if you're going to start with start your drive in field goal range, you know, exactly. you, you know you're going to be hungry for that touchdown. And the Warriors are uh, absolutely schooling the Huskies. 39 to nothing. See, the uh, thing is, even if the Huskies lose, they can take something out of this game. They can watch watch the film and see what they need to improve on. It's preseason. Oh, it looks like he's running side to side. He's going up the sideline. He's yeah, he picks up about It was not, not a horrible return on the, on the on the Huskies' part. They're starting on their 22-yard line. Um, but they could have gotten more because I noticed I they're think, running east-west again. If, if I were to say... If I were to tell the Huskies the one thing you need to work on, I think right now I'd say blocking because they're offensive um, line. Exactly. The difference, the difference between the Warriors and the Huskies in this game has been the blocking. Exactly. If the Warrior, if the Huskies get the blocking, I mean, even if you have to use your running back as a blocker. Uh, well, the running back is a great sleeper blocker. I think I think that um, you know one of one of one of my favorite tactics when I was a quarterback was to use my running back as a blocker. You know, uh, have a block, the... then go out mm -hmm. for a route, a short route, a little a little out route or a little uh, little flare route. Oh my God! It looks like Jared did pick up a yard until, of course, Dana, who's guarding that line like she owns it. I'm telling you, she is. 
Yay. Okay, we have. Looks like we have a penalty. Looks like we do have a penalty. Yeah, and that is going to be that's going to be a false start, and uh, so the Huskies get pushed back five yards. Exactly what they didn't need, but they're trying to get. They're getting a little antsy. They want to put some points on the board. <coughs> The last thing you ever want to do is to be shut out, and uh, yeah, exactly. That is, especially, uh, in a, especially in a blowout shutout. But like I said, you know, he's trying to run, but who's it? These the defensive linemen are very, very patient. They're not rushing in. They're watching the line. They're watching to see what, and they and they and they're able to get out, not get blocked. They're not getting blocked. They're getting out there to make the tackle. So he's only getting a yard if. That's a very disciplined defensive line, I'll tell you that. They're def Warriors are definitely going to be a team to, to contend with. They got both the defensive line. Oh, we got another penalty. We got another flag on the field. False start. Home team, five-yard penalty. Repeat, second down. I'm hope. I'm, I've just got one of those feelings. That it's pro dead ball penalty thrown like that. It's probably a, uh, another false start, possibly. Wow, I wonder. I'm hoping it wasn't the same player. If it is, and that player's got to got to let them glue themselves to the field. Like I said, we have looks like a second false start of this drive. Drops them back five more yards. Something they did not need. They're getting pushed back closer and closer. The Huskies to the are zone. making some just just some some. Oh, somebody actually did get a block on Jay. Silly mental mistakes. But, but yeah, and he gets oh. around and again. Sam, there's a sack, a five-yard loss. So ten yards in penalties, followed by five yards in uh, in, in that sack. sack. Brings up a third and 24. The Huskies are just not the wrong figuring way. these yep. Huskies, the, these Warriors out. And, but I noticed uh, somebody did pick up somebody did pick up Zaney, but they let Dana loose. So you gotta watch out well, for Zaney. You know, you can't, you can't little, trade it off. You gotta pick up all does. the blocks. You know, wow. or keep them away from him. Yeah. All right, somebody picked up Captain America, but Zay, Dana's right there. No, that was Smoke. Smoke. Tossed and down. Smoke takes Jared down for yet another five yard loss. And uh, the Huskies are now looking at fourth and 29. Sitting at their own three-yard line, and um, very and the Warriors, the Warriors have done nothing but show that they are eager to compete with, uh, you know, with the Titans, with the Seahawks, with the uh, um, the elite teams of the league, the Buccaneers. Yeah, the elite teams of the league. Punting it, and the ball takes a bounce and goes out of. Uh, he should try to get a little bit more yardage on that because he giving them at the fifty. They just cut the field in half. They've got to get, they got to definitely work on getting the kicks up better. And definitely, my recommendation, my recommendation is that offensive line, they've got to communicate. They've got to work better. If the, if the offensive line is not working as a complete unit, then, you know, they ain't going to be able, you're not going to be able to do anything. Looks like Gucci's got a little bit of pressure on him. But he completes it to Captain America. Yep, he, he, that, that was a beautiful throw. That that was that one was a, a throw. That play was made by the quarterback. It was a threading the needle kind of throw. Came right in. <sighs> got to Darian Humphreys, Captain America. Yeah, like I said, Darian definitely definitely was able to shake free of his defender and get himself open. So I think it would be more of a combination because Gooch seeing him and him and he being able to, you know, shake free of his defender and get himself open to get his quarterback out of trouble. That's a sign of a good receiver. In fact, almost a great receiver. All right. Gooch is getting a little bit of pressure. No, not not line, significant pressure. Not as much. Oh, the oh, offensive line Lord. picks it all up. They left they left and, it wide open at and, the goal line. Uh, one of the one of the premier plays that we've seen from the Warriors, somehow teams fail to see sick out in that left flat. 
he manages uh -huh. to get himself wide open in that left flat over and over, and we've seen this in in more than one game against more than one team. Sick gets that left flat open and is just sitting there with no coverage. I mean, even when he's covered, he can catch the ball. But when he's not covered, it's even, oh, you know it's a, all right, we got about 7, 18 left in the game. Warriors are up 46 to nothing on a game has had quite a few safeties. What is it, four so far? Uh, yeah, the uh, Huskies have been four safeties up to the Warriors. Um, I think right now the Huskies are hoping that no matter what, they don't get pinned deep because that seems to be an automatic safety for the Warriors. But the Warriors have gotten tons of penetration. They're taking the Huskies back for losses on a regular basis. In a war of defenses, the Huskies it, uh, are failing to contain just enough that the uh, oh, Warriors like are getting it. And it's, it's a, a short kick. Th short kick. It's uh, picked up, and Fracky has it. He's at the 20. He is at the 20, almost the 23, or 28-yard line. He brings it up a good ways. It's not a horrible start for the Huskies. There were some more yards to be picked up, but, yeah. uh, but uh, ultimately the Warriors are swarming the ball carrier pretty quickly. And the one thing I've noticed, when a team gets down, all of a sudden everybody starts getting down like, oh, um, you know, we're going to lose, we're going to lose. You get that defeatist attitude, you're going to lose. Oh, they did, they, did get, they, get, they, get Jared, they did get Jared some time. They had... The, the offensive line looks like they might have woken up. I don't know what was said to them, but they definitely picked yep. up their blocks. There, there were some blocks there. And Jared there had a, time. There was he a throw there to have, but Jared did miss that throw. Um, that was not catchable. But like I said, at least they've given him some time. Now, once he, once he gets the time, then he's going to make it count. Because they had all the defenders over to one side of the field. He could have actually run that ball and possibly picked up the first down. Here comes Zaney off that side. Yep, oh, there's pressure, and we got a penalty. penalty. Yep, dead ball penalty. Looks like it's going to be a, probably a false start or, or a, a cadence issue. Um, yeah, it's false start. So the uh, so the Huskies continue to struggle penalty-wise, continue to struggle offensively. Um, you know, somebody's got to help these Huskies get their, get their offense exactly. figured out. Exactly. See, one thing I saw, this is last season, one of the outside linebackers was creeping up towards the line, and he actually got called for an offside penalty because the crown of his helmet was over the line of scrimmage. So that, that, looks, like, that looks like something that, they, that they're definitely watching out for. They were watching out for this year, and they're probably going to be wa they're watching out last year, and they're probably watching out for this year. Well, let's, see if, let's see if the Huskies uh, can get out of this hole that they've dug in. Oh, he's running. He's, he picked up four well, yards. Yeah, a four-yard run, which is uh, great if you're at first and ten. Um, less great if you're at second and you're at, 15. You're at second, second and 15. we got a third and 11 coming up at the 27-yard line, about six, a little under seven minutes left in this game. Let's see if the Huskies can pull it together and at least get points on the board because you don't want to go out of a game. Getting, you know, getting blown out, but also getting shut out. Somebody looks like they find, finally found somebody to pick up. That picked up Zaney. Ball is up, going down the sideline. It is sick. A carry. Yep, that was the way ball. overthrown. That was way overthrown. Oh, he, the only receiver that could have gotten it was sick, and sick was right in the spot. Um, I'm not really sure who sick was trying to cover, but, uh, but. <laughs> he was certainly the only receiver that could have gotten that ball. Um, and, of course, Nesto, Nesto came sure down after about a 16-yard loss. It's, they got the ball on the 45-yard line. Another short field for them. And you saw what they did the last time they had a short field. A couple plays, and they had a touchdown. So, as a player, Blackheart, what would you do to uh to stop this amazing warriors onslaught because um i almost think the warriors should start calling themselves the spartans because they have been uh been like uh, you know this is sparta in every preseason game that i've seen what do you do here what do you do blackheart as a uh 
to to uh, prep your team to play the Warriors? First of all, I, to prep the team to play any team, I would during practice I would let you know have divide practice up like do half a practice with just the offensive line. You know, have have the quarterback, a, a running back, and a receive a couple of receivers and the offensive line, and have everybody else on defense. Let the defense, let the offensive line get their blocking down. Know where they have to be. Maybe some some design blocking schemes. And on defense, you know, you can do the same thing with the secondary. You just have the quarterback, no defense, um, no offensive line. All you know, you have your receivers with the quarterback, and everybody else on defense playing secondary, even if they've never played secondary, to give the secondary and the receivers work out. You know, uh, so again, great coverage, great blocking. Deer is underneath. Great blocking. He's underneath, there was, and he's gone. Bye -bye. Yep, there, was, there was almost oh, some, oh, and there is, and, yeah. and Darian goes all the way. Darian he comes back. It. It's 52 to nothing, pending the pending the the uh, extra point. So what we're seeing is that the uh, the Warriors uh, uh, offensive line is picking up the blocks, getting some protection. Um, and the uh, the throws are, are just falling into place. Gooch is and making things the happen. The secondary is breaking down. The secondary is breaking. It and the like secondary is breaking down. The things that I'm seeing. people open over the middle. And the things that I've seen for, from the Warriors is they keep the underneath available. They're exactly. Throwing, they've, they've got they've got some people open on uh, uh, up the middle, and Sick has always been able to find a way to come completely open in the left side flat. <laughs> And, exactly, um, and you have to watch for that because that's what these warriors are feasting on is that left side flat. And the thing is, you know, with the underneath, I mean, they could, they should be once he, once Captain America caught that ball, it, they should have been able to swarm on him and tackle him. Yet, all those receivers picked up their blocks, and what happened? They sprung him for a touchdown. All right, Jerry, Jerry grabs the ball about the nine-yard line. He's heading upfield. He's across the 25. He's about to the 27-yard line. Not a bad, not a bad return. See what, what I think the Huskies should do is forget going the deep ball because that's that's been getting them nowhere. Get the high percentage underneath passes, little five and ins, little ten and ins, the posts, stuff that's easy to complete. You move it down the field, and it also kills clock. Yeah, exactly. At this point, the Warriors just want to burn out the clock. They want to take as much oh, time as possible. Oh, and they picked up. And very nice that, run by Jared. A very good return. This is one of the better field positions that the Huskies have enjoyed. Actually, that was that was that was actually their first play from scrimmage. And uh, Jared it looks like the line picked up their blocks the way they should, and they were able to spring him. For the first down. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I yeah, you're, right. you're absolutely right. This was not a start of the drive. It was it was probably the biggest yeah, 11 yard gain. And it's and it's um a little sad to say. I mean, here it is. He's uh, uh Jerry's back. He's got uh, he's got no. Pr oh, there he gets. A he picks up a block and he had a wide open receiver there oh. and just missed that throw because. Um, uh, okay, it might have been. Look at look at look like it might have been Frankie. Who was there? No, it, was, it was Tyree. Tyree was there wide open. It looked and, like Frankie was there just past the, yeah. just past the, um, the first down marker. So we're starting again. Tyree, we got four wide receivers. Tyree's starting at, uh, at uh, running back. There goes the snap. Tyree oh. runs past the blocking um, and runs out into uh, – but there's no blocking again. And again, oh. he, he's got two receivers wide open right at – the first down marker, and he misses the throw. He over, that, that looked like he threw it way above. Frankie was standing there. Couldn't have been standing more. And he had about five yards behind him that he could have, five extra yards he could have gotten, maybe ten, but he got overthrown. He's, the, Jared, Jared's got to bring, calm, he's got to calm himself down and focus. I think, I think, you know, yeah, I think Jared sacks, is getting a little little eager and a little he's not, uh, too. not taking the time. I mean, the the Warriors are only rushing two now, and they're still uh, getting they pressure. Three. And, it's and there's a pass by Sick again. And Sick was right there, Ouch. and the and the uh, Warriors take over at their own 40-yard line on that uh, brilliant pick by Sick. There's uh, 4:18 left in the game, 
and the Warriors are not looking like they have any intention of giving up a single point uh, to the Huskies. See, the one thing is, we, once a quarterback gets sacked so many times, he, he starts getting happy feet and just starts running around. He's not focused on what on the on where the receivers are and where he has to throw the ball. And he tends to overthrow it or underthrow it. That looks like what's happened with Jared. He's he's just gotten too rattled. Oh, look at his zany. Oh, my Lord. Look how so, good yeah, the field Gucci had is. all the time oh. in the world. Zany catches the ball, and he's off to the races. There it is. Another touchdown. 60-yard touchdown play. Gucci to Zany. 59 to nothing. Huskies. Uh, that is going to bring up. Yeah, you know, uh, that's going to bring up the uh, mercy rule um, as uh, as the Hus as the Warriors go for their point after. Uh, we well, are in mercy I, time. I, I watched the, that play develop, and Zany just went right down the middle. It looked like it, it looked like Moses part in the Red Sea. He just went right between the two defenders, and he was wide open. I mean, he even had enough time back, to come so. back and catch the ball and still make the touchdown before anybody exactly. caught him. Exactly. No problem there. We have uh, less than four minutes left in the game as we have gone into um, mercy rule uh, at a at a, a greater than 55 point lead. The Warriors are now up 60 to nothing. The t uh, the clock won't stop for the rest of the game unless the Huskies, Huskies manage score. to put some score some points on the board. Um, this was not what the Huskies wanted to see in in preseason. <laughs> This is not what the Huskies want to see first in, half, in the first regular half was a, season. A lot better. They played a little bit better the first half. Well, the fact is that the um, the Warriors figured the Huskies out, but the Huskies have yet to figure the Warriors out. The Huskies take the ball. Um, uh, Javion brings it up to the 38-yard uh, line. It's, it's a pretty decent field position for the Huskies, but they've got to figure out some way to move it upfield because. So far, field position or no field position, yeah, if you don't move not. forward, it really doesn't matter where you start. On maybe, the field. maybe a few, maybe a couple handoffs. Because if you can get the run game going, then that'll that'll keep keep everybody honest, and you'll be able to. Uh, you might you might be able to get some of them long passes. And he's going deep again, and this time it is complete. Wow! This time he manages to make Beautiful it. He, that was a. Uh, that was uh, really a 50-50 ball, but uh, but the uh, comes down with it. Yep, the the receiver the receiver made that play happen, and that is a uh, great play on the part of the receiver. I'll tell you, the uh, the, what you, the um the offensive line did a good job. I mean, Zaney's trying to juke and jive and get him get himself in there, and they had different people seem seem to pick him up one after another, give give the quarterback the extra time that he needed. You know. Jared's rolling out. He's coming back. He's looking for end zone and Ricky. Oh, Ricky. And Wardini again, we're intercepted. Ricky Wardani intercepts the ball, oh. gets tackled. It's a touchback, and the Warriors say, "No, you are not going to score this game because we are uh, at 155. We're at the mercy rule, and the Warriors could literally take a knee every play and end this game." I, I could not see the Warriors doing that. They're a proud organization. I couldn't see them just taking a knee. No, I can't see them taking a knee, although in some respects I think that that would probably be the um, more noble position to take. Uh, I think the no, the Warriors want to prove a point, and they've had a point to prove. Oh, the, they've had a chip on their shoulder since oh, the end the, of last season. Um, got, they want to show that they've got the ability to compete. The and there it is, yep, player crashing. And it's Captain America. Yeah, I'm always wondering shame, what they use. You know, the last thing you want to see is Captain yeah. America crashing. Um, you know, Darien, uh, Darien is uh, one thing, but the icon, the man with the beans, the guy that's been around since World War II, Captain America, <laughs> crashing on the field. I'm wondering what what do they use to move him off the field? Why did you see him come online? They can't stop the clock. <laughs> Not really the way you wanted to see a game end, but like I said, it was definitely a 
I mean, the Huskies did show flashes of brilliance. I mean, but then that offensive line, they really, they, they need to, the offensive line needs to gel, needs to. Well, I think that the offensive line and the QB need to coordinate more. They exactly. need to communicate more because the offensive line needs to know what the quarterback's going to do, what exactly. their ultimate plan is, and the offensive line needs to move in that direction because right now all they're doing is just swarming around chasing a rusher as opposed to yeah, positioning themselves him. and taking the you angles. Gonna, yeah, they need to between, position themselves where they need to be. Yeah, because you you can't you can't be chasing a rusher because you'll never catch him. You got what you got to do is get in between that defensive player and the quarterback so you get the block. That's why I've noticed a lot of quarterbacks. What they do is they'll actually lead the defensive players into their blockers. Yeah, the best quarterbacks will um will move around in such a way that the rushers are just run right into the blockers and all the blockers have to worry about is staying between the rusher exactly. their assigned rusher and the quarterback and if, said, the, if they gooch should do that i've seen gooch do that gooch has done it times. of course we've seen krevin do it we've seen um we've seen rasden do it we've seen uh we've seen a few of the uh better quarterbacks do that sort of move where uh, all of a sudden, and, and uh, yep, that's going to be the end of the game. The Warriors win it 60 to nothing, and the Huskies, um, uh, the Huskies are going to have to spend some time studying the film and figuring out what they need what to broke do down and what, where because broke down. they have not been able to uh, uh, figure out what what's going on with the rush. Um, the Huskies' offense was uh, uh, at best Baseball? anemic. And they've really, really got to work that out because Jared is a great quarterback, and there are some good receivers out there. And I think that um, as as we spoke about at the beginning of this game, um, the offensive line makes or breaks a team, and the exactly. Huskies' offensive line failed this team uh, very, very badly. I mean, in this the game. offensive line physically was there, but it seemed like they were there mentally. They weren't mentally prepared for the game. At least that's what I noticed. I mean, physically, you see the people there, but if you're not mentally prepared, knowing where you have to be and what you have to do, you're not going to be able to do it. That is a fact. So at this point, we are going to call it a night. Um, we've got the uh, uh, final score, 60 to nothing. Warriors over the Huskies. I've got my man Blackheart, my uh, longtime friend and a colleague, a co player uh and welcome back to the commentating team black card dex thank uh, you thank so you much. much dex did a great job brother thank you so much for that we had horns and we had marlo and we had dre out on the field refereeing what a great job those guys did and as always thank you to um everybody that's helped pull this this uh particular uh game off we're going to call it a night, and we're going to pass it over to Mr. Dex in 3, 2, 1.